Suzusaurus, the shaggy giant. Dinosaurs usually look sleek and terrifying, but Suzusaurus looked like it crawled out of a laundry basket. Found in China, this late Cretaceous Therizinosaur stretched up to 33 feet long. That's bus size, but instead of being a scary predator, it waddled around eating plants. Its most bizarre feature? It was likely covered in shaggy proto feathers, making it resemble a walking mop. Imagine Godzilla dressed in a feather boa, and you're halfway there. Its huge claws weren't for killing either, but for pulling down branches, like the world's ugliest salad tongs. Sujusaurus proves dinosaurs weren't always sleek killing machines. Sometimes they looked like rejected Muppets. Honestly, if this thing existed today, we'd probably just mistake it for Bigfoot on a bad hair day. Pegamostax, the vampire parrot dinosaur. Pegamostax was tiny, barely two feet long, but it looked like evolution had a sense of humor. With a parrot-like beak, sharp fangs, and porcupine-like quills, it seemed designed by a committee that couldn't agree on anything. Its fang-like teeth earned it the nickname Vampire Dinosaur, though it probably munched on plants, fruit, and maybe insects. Imagine a guinea pig crossed with a vampire bat and then add feathers. That's Pegomastax. Discovered in South Africa, it belonged to a group called Heterodontosaurs, known for their mixed-up teeth. Its bizarre look might have been useful for scaring off predators, or maybe it was just nature trolling. If Jurassic Park had added this little gremlin, audiences wouldn't have run in fear. They would have laughed, then been bitten in the ankle. All right, I will be posting more videos here. So slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm. Linhenicus, the one-clawed wonder. Linhenicus from Mongolia was the dinosaur version of less is more. While most theropods had three fingers and Velociraptor had that famous killing claw, Linhenicus had just one tiny finger on each hand. That's it. No backups, no extras, just one claw. Scientists think it used that lone digit for digging termites, basically making it the prehistoric pest control guy. It stood about the size of a chicken, so instead of terrifying prey, it probably spent its life poking at anthills. But its single claw design is so weird, it's almost admirable. Like evolution decided dinosaurs were getting too flashy and stripped this one back to minimalism. It's the iPhone of raptors. One button does the job. Still, imagine explaining to your cave buddies you were attacked by a one-fingered dinosaur. Epidendrosaurus, the tree lizard prototype. If dinosaurs were trying out new models, Epidendrosaurus was the beta test for tree lizards. Barely the size of a sparrow, this tiny Jurassic dinosaur had absurdly long fingers. One finger was longer than its entire arm. Scientists believe it used those freaky hands to cling onto bark and hunt insects, making it one of the first known tree-dwelling dinosaurs. Found in China, it looked less like a predator and more like a rejected Pokemon design. Its delicate frame suggests it wasn't chasing prey so much as carefully picking bugs out of cracks. Picture a dinosaur that wanted to be a gecko but overdid it. It may not have been terrifying, but it proves dinosaurs weren't just ground stompers. Some were already experimenting with the treehouse lifestyle. Longasquama, the walking pine cone. Longasquama isn't technically a dinosaur, but it's too weird to skip. Discovered in Central Asia, this Triassic reptile had long, leaf-shaped appendages sticking out of its back, looking like giant pine needles. Scientists aren't sure what they were for. Display? Camouflage? Gliding? Whatever the answer, the result was a lizard that looked like a walking houseplant. Some paleontologists even think it was a distant relative of birds, making its leafy feathers part of the messy story of flight but mostly it just looked ridiculous. Imagine a gecko that wandered into a craft store and got covered in fake leaves. Jurassic fashion wasn't always practical. Longisquama might not have been the fiercest animal around, but it definitely wins, most likely to be mistaken for a fern. Gigantoraptor, the giant chicken. 
Most raptors were small and nimble, but Gigantoraptor said, Go big or go home. This beast stood nearly 16 feet tall and weighed 1.5 tons. Basically, a raptor scaled up to ostrich on steroids proportions. Discovered in Mongolia, it looked like a gigantic feathered chicken with a beak instead of teeth. Despite its fearsome size, it probably ate plants, which makes it less Jurassic Park villain and more oversized farm animal. Still, picture a chicken taller than a basketball hoop chasing you across the plains. Its feathers and bird-like build make it one of the clearest dinosaurs turned into birds examples. Though, it's hard to take seriously. Gigantoraptor wasn't terrifying so much as absurd. Proof that sometimes evolution just builds giant comedy birds. Momenchosaurus, the neck that never ends. Sauropods had long necks, but Momenchosaurus pushed things to cartoon levels. Its neck stretched nearly 50 feet long, making up half its body length. Imagine a giraffe, then stretch its neck until it's the length of a semi-truck. Found in China, this late Jurassic sauropod likely used its absurd neck to strip entire forests of leaves without moving its body. But its design also made it a giant target. Good luck hiding when your neck sticks out like a crane over the treetops. Some scientists suggest the neck was also used for display or even combat like a prehistoric lightsaber duel. Whatever the reason, Momenchosaurus is the perfect example of dinosaurs saying, sure, longer is always better, right? Evolution didn't always think things through. Jeholopterus, the vampire bat dragon. Jeholopterus was a pterosaur so strange it's often described as a flying gremlin. About the size of a dinner plate, it had large eyes, bat-like wings, and sharp fangs. Some scientists even speculate it may have been a bloodsucker, latching onto larger animals like a prehistoric mosquito. Whether or not that's true, its weird face and fuzzy covering make it one of the creepiest flyers of the Jurassic. Found in China, its fossils show fine details of its hair-like pycnofibers, giving it a gremlin with wings look. Picture hiking in the Jurassic forest only to have this fuzzy vampire bat dragon swoop at your face. It wasn't big enough to kill you, but it definitely could ruin your day. Basically, evolution's attempt at inventing nightmare fuel. Incisivosaurus, the buck-toothed dino. Incisivosaurus looked like a rabbit trying to cosplay as a dinosaur. Barely three feet long, it had two giant front teeth sticking out like buck teeth paired with a beak and feathers. Found in China, it was one of the strangest oviraptorosaurs, with teeth that suggested eight plants. Imagine Bugs Bunny, but instead of saying, What's up, Doc? He just shrieked and ran around the Cretaceous forest. Its fossils even include a nearly complete skull, so we know those goofy teeth weren't a mistake. Scientists think it used them for stripping plants, but they also would have made it look perpetually ridiculous. If Jurassic Park had featured this thing, audiences wouldn't have screamed. They would have laughed. Sheravipteryx, the Delta Wing Dino. Sheravipteryx looked like a paper airplane that came to life. This Triassic reptile had huge skin membranes stretched between its hind legs, forming a delta wing. That's right. Unlike normal gliders that use arms, this guy used his legs as wings. It probably launched from trees and glided awkwardly like a prehistoric hang glider. Imagine Batman's cape, but upside down. At just eight inches long, it wasn't terrifying, just confusing. A lizard that tried to fly backward. Its strange design shows how many weird experiments evolution threw at flight before birds got it right. Sheravipteryx wasn't graceful, but it wins the award for weirdest gliding attempt ever. Carnotaurus, the Horned Speed Demon Carnotaurus was a predator that looked like a dinosaur designed by a comic book artist. With bull-like horns, a lean running build, and arms so tiny they made T-Rex look muscular, Carnotaurus was pure weirdness. Found in South America, it measured around 25 feet long and could sprint fast thanks to its long legs. Its skin was covered in bumpy scales and its horns suggest it may have budded rivals like bulls. But the funniest part? 
Its arms were so useless they couldn't even reach its own mouth. Still, its skull was built for slashing bites, making it a nightmare for prey. Imagine a sprinting demon bull chasing you, terrifying until you notice its comically tiny arms. Nigersaurus, the vacuum cleaner, dinosaur. Nigersaurus is one of the strangest plant eaters ever found. At first glance, it looks like a normal sauropod, but then you see its mouth. Over 500 teeth arranged in a wide, straight row, it grazed low plants like a prehistoric lawnmower, vacuuming the landscape clean. Found in Africa, it was about 30 feet long, but its skull was so fragile, paleontologists first mistook it for a joke. Its wide, tooth-packed mouth makes it look less like a dinosaur and more like a Mesozoic Roomba. Imagine walking into your yard and seeing a 30-foot vacuum slowly hoovering the grass. It wasn't dangerous, but it was definitely bizarre. A dinosaur designed like a home appliance. A Margosaurus, the spiky-necked metalhead. If dinosaurs had heavy metal mascots, a Margosaurus would be on the album cover. About 30 feet long, this sauropod from Argentina had two rows of long, sharp spines running down its neck and back. Some scientists think these supported a skin sail. Others think they stood up like spikes. Either way, it looked like a cross between a brontosaurus and a porcupine. Its spines may have been for defense or intimidation, but they also could have been for display. Basically, prehistoric fashion accessories. Imagine walking through the Jurassic and spotting a dinosaur with a full spiked mohawk. A Margosaurus wasn't the biggest sauropod, but it definitely had the weirdest sense of style. Pachycephalosaurus, the dome-headed bruiser. Pachycephalosaurus was the dinosaur version of a football player who forgot his helmet because it didn't need one. Its skull had a 10-inch thick dome, perfect for headbutting rivals in combat. About 15 feet long, this herbivore likely settled disputes by slamming heads like living battering rams. Fossils show thickened skull bones with wear patterns, suggesting they actually used them. Scientists debate whether they butted heads directly or slammed into sides. But either way, it's one of the weirdest fighting strategies in nature. Imagine running full speed at your buddy just to prove who gets the best leaves. Pachycephalosaurus wasn't the scariest dinosaur, but it was definitely one of the strangest. Nature's headbutt champion, Dracorex, the Harry Potter dinosaur. Dracorex Hogwartsia literally translates to Dragon King of Hogwarts, and it looked the part. With spiky horns, knobs, and a domed skull, it resembled a dragon straight out of fantasy. Discovered in South Dakota, it was named by scientists who clearly loved Harry Potter. Some paleontologists think Dracorex might just be a juvenile Pachycephalosaurus, meaning its dragon look was just its awkward teenage phase. But still, it's one of the coolest fossil names ever. Imagine being a kid on a dig and finding out you discovered a Hogwarts dragon. Whether it was its own species or not, Dracorex proves dinosaurs could look like they wandered straight out of mythology. Parasaurolophus, the trumpet head. Parasaurolophus looked like a dinosaur with a trombone stuck on its head. Its huge curved crest wasn't just for decoration. Scientists think it worked as a sound chamber, letting it produce loud, foghorn-like calls to communicate. At 30 feet long, these herbivores could blast sounds across the landscape. Basically the air horns of the Cretaceous. Some even suggest the crest helped regulate temperature or acted as a flashy display for mates. But the sound idea is the funniest. Imagine a herd of giant trombone-headed dinosaurs honking across the plains. Parasaurolophus wasn't deadly, but it was bizarre. Proof that sometimes evolution just invents dinosaurs to play the world's loudest jazz concert. If you've watched to this point, slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm.